So I want to answer the question, when are ketones actually dangerous? Okay. Well, there is a condition called ketoacidosis where your blood becomes too acidic, but that is only going to occur when you're a diabetic type 1 because insulin not only controls blood sugars, but it controls the ketone levels too. Because when you reduce insulin, you will, your body will start making ketones as its primary fuel. And if you have zero insulin, like nothing coming out of the pancreas, then the ketones can be inaccessive to the point where your blood becomes acidic, and that is the danger. Um, and if that ever happens, you have to alkalize the body pretty fast. But that is not going to happen to the average person that is not a diabetic type 1. Normally, people will start doing a low carb, and they'll be at 0.5. That's half of a ketone. And then it goes from 1 to 2 to 3 as they maybe add more exercise and then add intermittent fasting. So with working with a lot of people in my clinic, I've never seen someone over 7, okay? And the danger cutoff point is 10 or above. If you're below 10, you are okay, okay? So over 10, it's a situation. But that's going to be very rare, and you're going to have to be a diabetic type 1 to even be worried about this right here. But for everyone else, you do not have to worry about this. Now, if you're doing intermittent fasting, and for a long periods of time, let's say three days, your body will start using your muscle protein uh, at about four ounces of your own muscles per day. So that's why we recommend low carb, moderate amount of protein, okay, each day. Moderate protein, between three to six ounces. Don't go days without some protein. So again, most likely your ketones are going to be right around through here. And if you add these things, it's going to go a little bit higher, but you're not going to go above 10. So if you do get in this upper range right here, just get with your doctor and make sure that they do adjustments on your insulin because you're probably going to need a little bit more insulin to prevent this from occurring. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like helping people as much as I do, press the share button and let's get this information way out there.